हेलो फ्रेंड्स नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट विक्टोरियन इरा पोएट्री व्हिच इज वन ऑफ द बेस्ट पोएट्री रिटर्न इन इंग्लिश लिटरेचर आफ्टर एलिजाबेथन पीरियड पोएट्री व्हिच इज रिटर्न इन इंग्लैंड ड्यूरिंग द रीजन ऑफ क्वीन विक्टोरिया मे बी कॉल्ड और रिफर टू एज अ विक्टोरियन पोएट्री द मोस्ट प्रॉलिफिक एंड वेल रिगार्डेड पोएट्स ऑफ द एज इंक्लूडेड आल्फेड लॉर्ड टेनिसन रॉबर्ट ब्राउनी एलिजाबेथ बैरे ब्राउनी मैथ्यू आर्नॉड गेरड मैंडली हॉपकिस एंड ऑस्कर वाइल्ड दिस एज इज एक्चुअली नोन फॉर सर्टन फीचर्स देर आर सर्टन आइडियोलॉजीज विच डॉमिनेटेड द विक्टोरियन पोएट्री फर्स्ट वन वॉज देर वॉज अ कॉम्फ्लिक्ट बिट्वीन रिलिजन एंड सायन इट इज द एज वेन डार्विन्स ओरिजिनल स्पीसीस and karl marx das capital was published these two books these two books dominated the ideology of this age it show the responsibility uh, towards uh, humanity it means that uh, there was a belief during this era that we should do something for the betterment of the humanity there uh, there was a use of sensory elements also pessimism also included because darwin's origin of species and some other uh, scientific books destroy the man's belief that's why the pessimism persisted there was also a interest in medieval fables and legends which drew on myth and folklore for their art with dante gabriel rossetti who was also a poet regarded as the chief poet amongst them there was also a realism which uh, dominated only because of a scientific beliefs uh, there was a sentimentality and development of dramatic monologue which is the also one of the uh, features of this age alfred lord tennyson who is who is known as a baron tennyson who was born in 6 august 1809 and died in 6 6 october 1892 was a british poet he was the poet laureate during uh, his uh, uh, during the much of the queen victoria's region and remains one of the most popular british poets in 1829 tennyson was awarded the chancellor's gold medal at cambridge for one of his first piece timbuktu he published his first solo collection of poems which is which are, which is actually known as poems chiefly lyrical in 1830 claribel and marina which remains some of tennyson's most celebrated poems were included in this volume although described by some critics as overtly sentimental his verse soon proved popular and brought tennyson to the attention of well known writers of the day including samuel coleridge robert browning is also one of the greatest poets who lived during the era of Victor- queen victoria he is actually known for his uh, dramatic monologue we can actually say that it is robert browning who initiated the form ca- called a dramatic monologue it is dramatic monologue is actually nothing but a single speech of a person addressed to unknown the listener thank you